Yo, what's up, people? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? This is Tiario, and I'm back, y'all, with another video and also another eye-opening message and topic. And in this video, and in this message, and in this topic, I am going to be talking about you have to know how to pick them. You have to know how to pick them. Listen to me closely, y'all. You have to know how to pick them. A lot of you all may say, Tiario, what do you mean by that? This is what I mean. You have to know how to pick your friends. You have to know how to pick your woman. You have to know how to pick your man. You have to know how to pick the right type of people to associate with. You have to know how to pick the right type of people that you are going to let in your life. You got to know how to pick them. You got to know how to pick them. Okay. And see, the reason why, the reason why a lot of you all out there go through so much foolishness with people because you don't know how to pick them. A lot of you guys out there be going through all this stupid stuff with women because you don't know how to pick them. A lot of you women out there be going through all this stupid stuff with men because you don't know how to pick them. You hook up with these fake phony friends that portray you, do you dirty because you don't know how to pick them. Your boyfriend breaks your heart. Your girlfriend breaks your heart because you don't know how to pick them. And let me tell you something. You got to know how to pick them. You got to notice. You got to. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Knowing how to pick the right type of people for your life is a gift. And if you don't have this gift, you screwed. Listen to me closely, y'all. If you do not have this gift, you are screwed. This is called discernment. This is when you have to use your discernment and your discernment have to start operating in your mental brain. You know what I'm saying? If you're not really using your discernment, then you're just going to be screwed off top. That's just off top. You are just going to be screwed. So with all of that being said, first thing first is this. If if you are not a spiritual type of person, this message is not for you. You know, if if you think everything is a game this video and this message is not for you, but this is serious. This this is serious business because so many people out there, they go through a bunch of nonsense for nothing because they don't know how to pick them. They don't know. This is a gift. I'm telling you, this is when you have to really, really turn on your discernment switch and use it for real. Because if you don't turn your discernment switch on and use your gift, man, you're done. Okay, you're done. You're going to pick the wrong people in your life over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And a lot of you are right now who are listening to this stuff. A lot of you are right now who are listening to this. You're going through this. You're going through this. You keep picking the wrong friend, the wrong person, the wrong man, the wrong woman over and over and over and over and over because you don't know how to pick them. You don't know how to pick them. A lot of women who have gotten married don't know how to pick them. Just getting married to a man and then the marriage is depressive. You're not happy. You find yourself getting a divorce because you don't know how to pick them. A lot of you men be, be miserable with these women because you don't know how to pick them. A lot of you women out there, you got baby daddies, right? You're having babies by these men and then you're miserable with these men and you don't want to be with them anymore because you don't know how to pick them. Now watch this, y'all. A lot of you all may say, Tiario, now, now watch this. Now watch this. Now listen to me carefully. A lot of you all may say, Tiario, well, what does that got to do with the Bible? I'm so glad you asked. I'm so glad you asked because it has everything. To do with the Bible. It has everything to do with your walk with God. And it has everything to do with the kingdom. You want proof? Do you want the proof? I'm going to give you the proof. Jesus Christ. He knew how to pick them. 
Let me, man, y'all, y'all not ready for this kind of truth, man. Let me tell you something. Jesus Christ knew how to pick them. See, let me tell y'all. I don't know what kind of relationships that you all got out there with God, but it ain't it ain't real relationships with God. Because when you have a real relationship with God, you know Him personally. You know Him. And let me tell y'all something. One thing about God that I know for a fact: God knows how to pick them. He know how to pick them. God know exactly who to get. He know exactly who to raise up. He know exactly who to save. He know exactly who to pick for his kingdom. God knows how to pick them. And then remember, when Jesus came to the earth, starting off in the book of Matthew, when Jesus came to the earth, Jesus knew how to pick them. Yes, he did. Example, the 12 disciples. Everybody thought Jesus was crazy. And remember, the Pharisees thought Jesus had lost his damn mind. Remember, the Pharisees was like, how you hanging around sinners and, and fishermen and, and prostitutes like Mary Magdalene? What, what's up with you, Jesus? Why are you hanging with these people? Jesus, why are you rocking with these people? You want to know why Jesus was rocking with them people? Because Jesus knew how to pick his clique. He knew how to pick his friends. Jesus had this powerful, strong gift of discernment. And Jesus knew how to pick them. This is, let me tell y'all something. This is exactly why Jesus had no problems in the kingdom of heaven back in the Bible days. Remember y'all, Jesus never had problems with these people. You want to know why Jesus never really had problems with Peter, Matthew, Luke, Mark, John. Jesus never had an issue or a problem with Mary Magdalene. Never. Not one time. You want to know why Jesus never had problems with his 12 disciples? Because he knew how to pick them. He knew. That's why he didn't have issues with them. Remember, y'all, Mary Magdalene was a prostitute. Everybody's angry that Jesus is hanging around this woman. He knew how to pick them. He knew exactly who would do his will. He knew exactly who would be loyal to him. He knew exactly who would rock with him. He knew how to pick them. God. God the Father. God picked Moses. God picked Joshua. God picked Elijah. Have y'all noticed something about... Hold on, let me tell y'all something. Have y'all noticed something about all these people that God picked? He never really had problems with these people. The only people... That God had like major issues with. Like the only person was David. God had problems with David. Because David was a dysfunctional guy. You know what I'm saying? David, you know, banging Bathsheba. He's he's killing and murdering his friend Uriah. D David was a dysfunctional guy. But God still picked him to get rid of Goliath. And to get rid of the enemies in the camp. So at the end of the day, God still knew who to pick. Because everybody else didn't really have the heart and the guts is David. So God had to raise up somebody who had the guts to go after Satan's people. This is why God picked Samson. He knew Samson would do this stuff. God was looking for somebody in the camp who can kill Satan's people. And Samson was the perfect match for that. Samson, Joshua, Elijah, and even David. Because remember y'all. Samson, David, Joshua, and Elijah, they all got something in common. They all was chosen to kill Satan's people. Samson was chosen to kill Satan's people. Elijah was chosen to kill Satan's people. Joshua was chosen to kill Satan's people. Even David was chosen to kill Goliath. They, they all was chosen to kill Satan's people. God knew how to pick them. Jesus knew how to pick his friends, y'all. Remember, now a lot of you all may say, well, Tiario, what about Judas? What about Judas? Jesus did pick him. That's right. But let me tell you how smart Jesus was when it comes to Judas. Man, let me tell you this, y'all. Remember, y'all, Jesus is smart. And when Jesus looks at you, he looks at the end of your, your life and your situation. When Jesus looks at you, he sees what you are going to do. 30 years from now, he sees what kind of person you are going to end up. When Jesus looks at you, he does not worry about your present. He looks at your future. So when Jesus ran into Judas, he looked at Judas' future. Now watch this, y'all. Who won that battle between Jesus and Judas? Who won? 
Jesus won that battle because Jesus used Judas for a fool. He used him. Jesus played Judas, man. Let me tell y'all something. Jesus played Judas. He knew Judas was unloyal. He knew Judas was cutthroat. He knew Judas was working for the devil. And he knew Judas was rolling with them Pharisees and them haters. He used Judas to promote the kingdom of God. He used them. Now, this is how he used him to promote the kingdom of God. Jesus, his whole mission was to die. Remember, his whole mission was to die. Die for me and you, right? His whole mission was to die for me and you. So we can be able to go to the throne of God and get forgiven and be covered in Jesus' blood and our sins can be washed away. Okay, we know that. So this is what Jesus had to do. He had to pick a hater. He had to get around a cutthroat, unloyal hater to fulfill God's plan. Oh, man, let me tell y'all something, man. Listen to me carefully, y'all, because I'm giving y'all some secrets. Jesus had to get around a cutthroat, unloyal hater to fulfill God's plan. Sometimes you got to get around a devil to fulfill your purpose in God. I don't think you people are hearing me. I'm going to repeat it again. Sometimes you got to get around a devil to fulfill your purpose in God. When Jesus got around Judas, he knew Judas was a devil. He knew he was evil. He knew he was not loyal. And he knew he was cutthroat and he still let him in the click because every now and then you got to use Satan's people to get where you're going. That's a fact. Jesus played Judas for a fool. He knew Judas was, was going to do what he do. Remember, he, Jesus even said it. The one who dips his bread in a dish, that's the one who's going to portray me. Jesus knew this. He used Judas. So, he, so here it is. Jesus knew how to pick him. He knew how to pick the loyal ones for his kingdom and he knew how to pick the haters to fulfill God's prophecy for his life. Jesus was smart, man. He was smart. And let me tell y'all something, man. I don't know. It's, it's so sad because Christians have mapped Jesus out to be like he was not smart or something. Like, like Jesus was just a pagan follower or something. Jesus was smart. He was very intelligent in what he did and he was very wise in his decisions, man. He knew how to pick these people. Jesus, man, it, it, it's, it's amazing. And when you look at that with an open eye, he used Judas. He used them. Yeah, he used them. And then here it is. Here, and then here it is. Judas was so tortured behind what he did, he hung himself. You want to know why Judas hung himself? Because he knew he lost that one. When it really, remember, when it really dawned on Judas, he went hung himself because he was so tortured behind what he did. He knew he lost. He knew, he knew Jesus had used him for a fool. So he went hung himself. It's crazy. It's crazy. Jesus knew how to pick them. And you all who are listening to this, you got to know how to pick these people in your life. If you're going to be letting a man in your life, you got to know how to pick them. If you're going to be letting friends in your life, you got to know how to pick them. If you're going to be letting, you know, a, a boyfriend in your life, a girlfriend, if you have plans on getting married, you better know how to pick them. Because today we have too many miserable married people. You want to know why? The, let me tell you all something. You want to know why the majority of married people are miserable? Because they don't know how to pick them. That's facts. They don't know how to pick them. And you got to know how to pick them. You better learn this. I'm telling you. And y'all know I'm telling the truth. Because a lot of you all right now. Y'all know from experiences from your past. You know you didn't know how to pick them people. That's why it didn't work out. Because you don't know how to pick them. You got to know how to pick them. And you got to know what you're picking them for. Let me repeat that again. You have to know what you are picking them for. If you meet a woman, you got to know what you're picking her for. If you meet a man, you got to know what you're picking him for. If you're going to hang around some friends, you got to know what are you picking these friends for. And you better be very intelligent and skilled in this. Because if not, you're going to get yourself hurt. You can get yourself killed. Anything can happen. A lot of people right now, y'all, are dead because they don't know how to pick friends in their life. They brought them devils in their life and got killed and set up. It happens every day. Watch the news. You all know it's true. Dudes be killing their girlfriends because the girlfriends don't know how to pick them. Husbands be having their wives murdered because the woman don't know how to pick them. You got, you got wives out there who be shooting their husbands in the brain 
Because the man picked the demonic woman in his life, you got to know how to pick them. Here it is. You got to know how to. And, and, and y'all, especially when it comes to making babies, when you are about to make a baby with somebody, you better know how to pick them. You better know. Because if you don't know how to pick them, you're going to wind up giving birth to a demon seed. You better know how to pick them. That's right. And that's what this message is about, y'all. That's what this is about. You have to know how to pick the right people in your life. Now, somebody may say, Tiario, well, how do we get trained in this? You got to use discernment and you have to think before you make decisions. You have to. And then here it is. You have to use your gift of discernment. If you don't have discernment, you better ask God to get it. OK. And then another thing which you got to do, you got to test people. You have to test people. Even even the Bible said test the spirit. You have to test people. And if you don't test people, then how can you discern what you are picking them for? You have to test them. You got to put folks to the test. Seriously. This is real, y'all. Okay? You got to test people. And then you will know if you're going to be able to pick them or not. And y'all, let me tell you, we all have a responsibility of picking people in our lives. All of us. Me personally, y'all. Y'all already know I am not about to let no anybody in my life. I am not about to let no anybody get close to me. No, I'm very, very picky. I know how to pick them. I know how to pick the right kind of friends. I'm just being honest, y'all. I'm very, very skilled in this. I know how to do it. That's right. I put people to the test. I test people. I ask questions because if I am about to let you in my life, oh no, I gotta, I gotta be serious about this because this is serious. I do not have time to be letting cutthroat, unloyal people in my life. And you got to know how to pick them. That's right. You got to know how to pick them. A lot of you all, y'all are picking cutthroat, unloyal, demonic, all these crazy maniacs. And they're doing you dirty. They're doing you dirty. And now somebody out there may say, well, Tiario, you just said that Jesus picked Judas and Judas was a hater. That's true. But remember, but remember, you're not Jesus. Jesus is way smarter than you. You're not Jesus Christ. So stop trying to be, okay? You are you. You're not Jesus Christ. And that's what pagan Christians don't understand. Pagan Christians be walking around like they're Jesus. You're not Jesus, okay? You are you and Jesus is him. That's right. That's right. So use your wisdom and think. Use your brain. And stop rushing your choices in life. Stop rushing. Take your time, man. Because a lot of you all, it's, it's crazy because everybody, is, y'all, y'all, it's like everybody is in a damn rush. What are y'all rushing? There's nothing going on in the world but chaos and wickedness. What are you rushing? It's like everybody's in a rush. And I don't know what the hell y'all are rushing for. Seriously. Take your time with this stuff because this is serious. This is your damn life. Okay? This is your life. So with all that being said, y'all, this is Tiario. And I had to hit y'all with this eye-opening message, man. I had to hit y'all with this eye-opening message and topic. So with all that being said, y'all, peace.